Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Chojin X chapter 26.2. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored in. Nah, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and nah, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus, and now we ain't sponsored by Viz, and considering how much I promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, I know, Kitty, okay, you want to go to bed, huh, Zeno? I have a very fussy, fussy Kitty. Not happy because he thought it was bedtime. <laughs> but, um, got to see the cover for volume four. And it's interesting, the pharmacist is on the cover of volume four and he's in profile. And it looks so creepy. It does. It's kind of making me think of the, um, if you've read Maho Shoujo site, you know this. I've covered Maho Shoujo site. Um, it looks like one of the mods from Maho Shoujo site. <laughs> Because they wear those types of masks. That's what it's called. <laughs> ah, it really is. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, we know the pharmacist is uh, definitely after Azuma. And, um, oh my god, the beginning of last chapter when we learned about Queem. Oh my god, Queem is amazing. I love freaking Queem. Oh my god, it was amazing. Holy shit, I love Queen. Oh my god. But anyways, we get into training now. This is going to be very interesting. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. Are we, are we participating as well, Mr. Sato? Oh, that's right. You're getting retrained. You've made um, too many mistakes in a row with, uh, what with the incident with uh, Shiozaki and Nagashi. Uh-oh. In any case, I can't send you on missions while you can't uh, launch a race. Ooh, but also, think of this as a chance for R&R. &R. Yeah, Kitty, you want R&R? &R? Come here, Kitty. Oh, the Choja Kitties. Choja Kitties. Say hi, Choja Kitty. You Choja Kitty. Oh. Yes, sir. Let's give this everything we have. And this chapter is titled Summer on Beast Island Part 2. I know Kitty want to be on the Beast Island, don't you, Kitty? You want to be on the Beast Island, huh, Kitty? You do? You want to be on Beast Island? Or you just want to go sleep. You've been sleeping all day. You want to just come snuggle. Look at this. Say, Mr. Sato, um, what is it, Ada? Um, before training starts, do you think we could take a dip in the ocean? Uh, want to see me in a swimsuit? <laughs> Ellie grew up all the way in the mountains, after all. <sighs> Can I remind you we came here to train? Thought so. As your teacher, I can't improve more than an hour of fun! <laughs> Yay! An hour! An hour! Ooh, we got bathing suits. Oh, poor Ellie! She's like, oh, I have no titties! An hour! An hour! I wish time would stand still. Um, Mama... Oh, my God. Mama, Mama, um, what do I need to eat to get your figure? <laughs> uh, pork, I guess. Oh, she does eat a lot. <laughs> she does eat a lot of that. No, you don't... Hey, I don't eat pork. I got big titties. I don't eat pork. I didn't realize there were uh, islands like this to the north of Yamato. Yes, this is the southernmost tip of the Beast Isles, uh, Ojima, the Tail Island. Gelta's forces uh, reached these islands during their um, their invasion. Ooh, so we got the Beast Isles, yes. This is where Yamato, uh, Yamato's chosen um, led militia engaged Gelta, though many sacrifices were made. Um, they uh, stake their lives to protect the defensive front. Had they lost Yamato, or rather, all of seven states of Nanasu would likely have been torched to the ground. So, the region made up of Yamato is, uh, um, 
Oh, wait. Yamato, uh, Gaga, Nagamata, and the rest of the seven prefectures. These islands are teeming with uh, history, both human and Chojin. I hope we get to learn more of the Chojin history. Because we're at... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Because this is Beast Island, right? Oh, the... We are on Beast Island, okay? Because we are on Beast Island. It makes you wonder. Damn, Kitty, your fur got in my fucking face. It makes you wonder... We gotta be seeing Mama Beast Chojin. We gotta be seeing the Queen of the Beasts. We have to. This would be the time for it, because we, uh, we be on Beast Island. So, I think that's what we're saying. So, the question is, it's a matter of when at this point. It's not even if, it's when. We gotta be seeing the Queen of the Beasts um, that we saw at the beginning of the manga soon. We have to. With the pharmacist that we saw uh, last chapter, do we think we're going to see him? I don't know. We might. Let's see. All right, the tunnel's ready to go. Ooh, this is more than, than I even learned in school. I know, right? I learned so much from manga, it's not even funny. Well, then, I'm going to tell each of you the theme of your training. Let's start. Kurohara, learn uh, partial beastification. For extra credit, get to the point where you can fly. Higashi, pin down your ability and give it a name. Ooh. Oda, um, develop yourself a new move. Um, Kakamura, uh, Momoma, practice your basic training and study your abilities. In other words, business as usual. Partial beastification. That's exactly what I was trying to go for that time. Score. New move, new move. Pin down my ability and name it? Naming an ability is crucial for determining the core of your gifts. Are you a shifter or a creator or are you a double? <gasps> Woo! Your power is still an unknown. So to give yourself a chosen name, you need to pin down your ability. He's right. Vulture chosen, smoke chosen. Knowing your ability probably makes it easier to extend your powers. We call in we call in some special instructors just for your for the occasion. Um, Lady Hachimaki and Sha- uh, wait, and Shadol, Shant of the Darkness. I love these- these designs! Ah! Lady Hachimaki, I love her outfit! This is hot! This is goddamn hot! Okay, so, Nagamata Mori keep her, uh, Roja- uh, wait, Roja uh, Hachimaki, so she can make her body and anything she touches thorny, because she's the Bramble Trojan. Ooh, is she a thorny one, huh? The thorns are very sturdy and touching them sure hurts. Oh, that explains. So, ooh, her and sister from Eden Zero. Woo, they would be getting along real well. I swear to God, is she a, please, please, I am begging you, take some inspiration from sister in Eden Zero. I need to see it. <laughs> I need to see that shit in my life. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! I need it! I need it so bad! I need it! I need it! I know manga is making me very sadistic, but oh my god, if you have read Eden Zero and you're up to date with Eden Zero, I've been covering it since like the very beginning. But if you know what, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Because this outfit is really giving me sister from Eden Zero. Oh, God, well, maybe her tits could be bigger, but <laughs> if we're really going there. But, God damn, I could see some dumb shit going on with this. Oh, my God, please do it, Ishida. I am begging you. I want to see some dumb shit going on here. All right, so let's see what we got here with the <gasps> darkness children. Woo, okay. Shadow shit. All right. He can emit a dark energy and can walk on steps made of darkness. What? He can't create portals? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Darkness? No! No, 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 no. No, if you gotta give me darkness, Trojan, you gotta give me something more badass than this. What the fuck is this? Because when I hear darkness, I've seen darkness. Okay? I cover, again, I cover a lot of shit. Cover a lot of manga. Like, darkness... 
a good example of darkness is what we've seen like with darkness magic uh, with dark magic and black clover with uh um, with yami he opens goddamn portals man he can open portals he can use do some kick-ass shit with dark magic with shadow magic, you could do like hella shit with that. You could create clones. You could create like shadow clones. You could do oh, again open portals and all that shit too. But like and create holes. That darkness better like, that he's walking on better be creating like deep ass holes or something. Cause otherwise, like what the fuck is that? That fat oh, I swear to God. Oh. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how I feel about this design now. Cause you tell me this is a darkness chosen. Like thorn chosen, I can believe that. This I believe. Darkness chosen, I do not know if I could believe this. The design is not giving what it needs to give for now. It's not giving me what it needs to give, and I'm very let down. They both traveled all the way from uh. Nag wait, Nagamata Mori for us. They're keepers for their prefecture. Um, what's with you in this shape? Yes! Ha Whoa, I'll show you my secret dark arts. No! No! This is no! What? I need better! This is not it! No! He's a sword chojin. Um... So you're not doing all the training then, Mr. Sato? Eh, it's better when your instructor has a si ability similar to your own. It's easier for them to empathize with your worries and figure out how to solve them. And none of you have an ability like mine. <laughs> <laughs> now then, everyone, fun's over. We're working you hard to make up for all that time you wasted. Ah, but you said we could. Um, uh, I never actually said that. <laughs> All right, so Team Roja, which is basically close combat, um, transformative type, partial beastification, and basic training with um, with Tokyo and uh, Momoma. Oh my god, I better be getting some good shit out of this. Ooh, I'm glad that Sa Ooh. so Team so Sato is working with uh, Osma to pin down his ability. Oh, there's some potential here. I want to, what I want to see with this is I want to, or should I finish the chapter? No, I'm going to do this and then I'll finish the chapter because there's a, one final po uh, portion and then I'll give my thoughts on that because I will get distracted. My ADHD dictates it. Uh, I just have this feeling I will. Okay, let me get back to this. What I want to see with this. With uh, um, with Sato and Ozma, I want to see Sato travel through Ozma's mind. I want to see that shit. I need to see what the fuck is going on up in there. I want and what I picture in my head is I want to see like the chaos that's going on up in there, and there might not be chaos in there. We don't know, but considering all the emotions that Azuma has been holding back. Oh, you, you got to You bet there's something going on in there. There's something deep. There's a monster buried within there. And I want to see it. I want to see Sato go up against it. And hell, maybe it's because of, you know, I have Yu-Gi-Oh going on via Pluto TV. Maybe it's that's influencing me a bit. You know when you go when um they're going inside the Millennium Puzzle to try and figure out um uh Yami Yugi's uh, memories. They're trying to find or like yeah they're trying to um figure out what's go figure out how to get back into the past and all that shit. And you see like all these mazes and mysteries and all that shit. That's what I kind of want. I can picture that going on too up in Azuba's mind. I could picture that, but have it more chaotic maybe and trippy yes that feels right 
No, my kitty being fussy as hell. I can't wait for fucking five minutes. But anyways, I'm very curious what you guys think about that. But then there's Team um, Shadol, which is mid-range, um, reach and invocation type, which is El Ellie's going to uh, learn her new move and practical application of abilities. Ellie, this works for me for Ellie. I'm not surprised by it, especially since this is a shadow user. So, yeah. But anyways. Hmm. There we go. I've got the skiff. Hey there, Chandra uh, Han. Always a pleasure. I I get you the skiff. What? Strangulation, I see. Very unbecoming. <laughs> There's nothing unbecoming or unbecoming about murder. At least this way, I've got company, unlike uh, if you birth them to a Chris. Enough that. Wait, enough of that. Let's get a move on to the cockpit. Ooh, Trojan Yubiko. Oh, they're coming for Allie. Woo! She giving you neat um. She giving you Nico Robin realness going on with the Trojan power. Ooh! I wonder if it's limited to arms or if she can do it with all her body parts. Kind of like again, like um, Nico Robin. I hope she. It's not limited to arms. I really hope not. But obviously, they're heading for Beast Island. They have to be. They have to be. I'm really digging the direction this manga is going in. So here, okay, so here we got like three things going on. It's going to be utter chaos. So you have uh, Chandra heading for Ellie. So we got that mess going on. You have the pharmacist and his hitman going uh, after Ozma. And then we got the whole thing with the beast, with Mama Beast Chojin, who she got to be on this island. She has to be. This will be very interesting. Mama Chojin, uh, th this is why he, oh, we gotta have that encounter with Mama Chojin, with the Queen Chojin, the Queen Beast Chojin. We gotta have this encounter with her because of what um, Tokyo is especially trying to do. What his goal is, is to achieve a... Uh, uh, um, Partial, at least partial uh, beastification. We gotta see that. Oh, we have to see this. We have to. So I'm really curious what you guys think is going to go down. Um, do you guys like how the setup is? That we're going to have like three different th fights going on? And they're, are they all going to be connected? No. They're not. They all are separate. Which I think is great. I want it, I want it to be separate. I don't want Chandra to have anything to do with the pharmacist. Nah. Well, you could make the argument that the pharmacist is working with Chandra. Maybe. Maybe. But no way they're working with the beast Chojin and shit. No way. Nah. The far, as I said, pharmacist maybe. But with the beast Chojin, I doubt it. But I think the one that's going to... Oh, God. I really... But that's, that's how Ellie got to learn her new technique, too, is from Chandra. And I have to wonder if this is going to be something very similar in regards to Ellie's case. If it's going to be something similar to what we um, have seen in, uh, in Nao no Exorcist with uh, uh, Rin and Satan. Because remember, Ellie kind of has a similar thing going on in regards to her power. Because she doesn't want to be associated with Chandra. If we get a similar situation like this here, if it's... Ashita can do it. It'll be very interesting to see how it's executed. Because it's obviously it's not going to be like Satan and Ren. Because that's father and son. I swear to God, if Chandra is Ellie's father, I am going to fucking die. But I don't think that's the case. Oh, God, if it went full on Jerry Springer, I will just, I would goddamn lose it. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, what do you guys think about how the fights are, are being set up right now? And what do you guys want to see, especially with um, Wasato and Ozma? Wasato and Ozma, it's going to just be so interesting. If, if it's going to go down the way I 
think it's gonna go kind of like with um with the <laughs> keep thinking Yu-Gi-Oh because again I've been watching it on Pluto TV like kind of like with Shadi and the Millennium Key going into the Millennium Puzzle that's what it's just that's what I feel like is gonna happen and then he's gonna travel through the corridors of Azuma's mind but it's gonna be way more trippy that's what I feel like is gonna go down there but god damn it's just, oof. It'll be very interesting. I wonder if Ellie is going to, like, make, like, a, um, a smoke weapon or something. I actually like that. That'd be very interesting. Ooh, that'd be actually, that would be interesting. Because you have the sword, you have the sword Chojin right there. You could ha have her, like, make, um, have her make smoke weapons. That would be fucking awesome awesome yes i'd be down with this i'd be down with this yes see on my notes i know i know how shit can go down i i think I, hopefully i'm right with how ashita is is planning this I'd like to think I'm right with how Ashita planned this. I could be wrong, but like, that's how I, based on what I'm seeing here, that's how I'm picturing shit's gonna go down. But again, I could be wrong. Tokyo, I, but as I said, Tokyo is gonna be very interesting. I think all of them are gonna be interesting, but Asuma and Tokyo's, I think, are gonna be the most interesting. Unless, like, as I said, for. Ellie, if we get a full-on Jerry Springer moment with Ellie, then, oh, God, that would be very interesting. At least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. I'm really stoked with the direction of this manga. I am. I can't wait to see the fight star and star and how it's going to help their training because let's be real that's going to be the case let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerd against inc love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so i can keep bringing you more uh touch X content because i think i'm like one of the only people that covers this manga which is a goddamn shame i don't understand why this manga is fabulous a few ways you could do that get into our cash app paypal patreon purchase something off our amazon wishlist all that's in the description box below also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.